Once again, we will apply Componendo Dividendo in this. But when you apply transformations, both must be either sine or both must be cos. So first, we will take cos theta minus alpha by sin theta plus alpha is equal to 1 plus m by 1 minus m. Next, we will change cos to sin. So you have sin of pi by 2 minus of theta minus alpha divided by sin theta plus alpha is equal to 1 plus m by 1 minus m. So here you have <coughs> apply component or dividend. So sin pi by 2 minus theta plus alpha plus sin theta plus alpha divided by sin pi by 2 minus theta plus alpha plus sin theta plus alpha is equal to 1 plus m plus 1 minus m by 1 plus m minus of 1 minus m. Now apply sin c plus sin t. 2 sin pi by 2 minus theta plus alpha plus theta plus alpha by 2 cos pi by 2 minus theta plus alpha minus of theta plus alpha by 2 divided by 2 sin 2 cos 2 cos pi by 2 minus theta plus alpha plus theta plus alpha by 2 sin pi by 2 minus theta plus alpha minus of theta plus alpha divided by 2 is equal to here m gets cancelled you get 2 divided by 1 plus m minus m means here you will get 2m so 2 gets cancelled here 2 gets cancelled sin by cos is tan here theta gets cancelled you will get pi by 4 plus 2 alpha into cot here alpha gets cancelled pi by 4 minus 2 theta is equal to 1 by m he is asking tan pi by 4 minus theta so cross multiply cot pi by 4 m cot pi by 4 plus 2 alpha is equal to cot pi by 4 1 by cot pi by 4 minus 2 theta 1 by cot pi by 4 minus 2 theta 2 theta by 2 because we have divided there here also this gives us m cot pi by 4 plus alpha is equal to tan pi by 4 minus theta he is asking tan pi by 4 minus theta so it is m cot pi by 4 plus alpha so that's how you get